the financial stability of a company can be tested in many ways one of the quickest ways to see just how well a company is performing is to use financial ratios in this lesson you will learn what liquidity ratios are how to calculate them and how to interpret them there are five major categories of ratio analysis namely liquidity debt management asset management profitability and market value ratios in accounting, the term liquidity is defined as the ability of the company to meet its financial obligations as they come due. Liquidity ratio is a computation that is used to measure a company's ability to pay its short-term debts. There are three common calculations that fall under this category. These are current ratio, quick ratio, and cash ratio. Current ratio indicates a company's ability to pay its current liabilities from its current assets. This ratio is one used to quickly measure the liquidity of a company. The formula in solving this is current assets over current liabilities. Current assets are those assets that are expected to turn into cash within a period of one year. Some examples of this are cash, accounts receivables, prepaid expenses, government bonds, and certificates of deposits. On the other hand, current liabilities are those debts that are expected to be paid or come due within a year. Examples of this are accounts payable and short-term notes payable. For an example of a current ratio, let's say Company A has a current asset of $50,000. It has a current liabilities of $25,000. To get the current ratio, we divide $50,000 over $25,000. The current ratio then is 2 or 2 is to 1. This means that for every $1 in current liabilities, the company has $2 in current assets. A current ratio that is better than 1 is to 1 is considered good. The higher the ratio, the better the financial position of the company. Therefore, we can say that company A is in sound financial position and that its current ratio indicates that they can pay their short-term obligations. Remember that the ratio greater than 1 is an ideal ratio and the ratio of less than 1 is not ideal and may signify some problems with the management of the company. Next up is the acid or quick test ratio. The purpose of this is to measure how well a company can meet its short-term debts with its liquid assets. Remember, liquid assets are those that can be quickly turned into cash. The formula for calculating this is cash and cash equivalents plus short-term investments plus accounts receivable, all over current liabilities or current assets less inventory, all over current liabilities. We omit inventory in the current assets because inventory often takes a longer amount of time to turn into cash. Cash and cash equivalents refers to cash in hand, checking accounts, savings accounts, and other money market accounts. Short-term investments, or any investments that will mature within 90 days, like U.S. Treasury bills and commercial paper. For an example, Company A has cash and cash equivalents of $20,000, short-term investments of $5,000, accounts receivable of $10,000, inventory of $15,000, and current liabilities of $25,000. To compute for its asset ratio, we use the first formula. So we add 20,000 plus 5,000 plus 10,000, all over $25,000. Then our asset ratio is 35,000 over 25,000. Therefore, we will get an asset ratio of 1.4, meaning that for every $1 of current liabilities, it has $1.4 of liquid assets. If the value of the asset term ratio is less than 1, then it is said that the company is not stable and may face difficulty in paying off their debts. But if the company has a more than 1 ratio, this means that they have enough um, liquid assets to finance their current liabilities. In this case, company A will be able to pay 1.4 times of their current liabilities with their liquid assets. Lastly, cash ratio measures the firm's ability to pay off its current liabilities with only cash and cash equivalents. 
the cash ratio is much more restrictive than the current ratio or quick ratio because no other current assets can be used to pay off the current debt and only cash can do it. Creditors are particularly interested in this ratio because they want to make sure that their loans will be repaid in cash. The formula would then be cash and cash equivalents over current liabilities. For example, Company A has cash and cash equivalents worth $20,000. Current liabilities of $25,000. To get the cash ratio, we divide $20,000 by $25,000 and we will get a cash ratio of 0 0.8. This means that for every $1 current liabilities, Company A can only pay $0.8 for, for its cash and cash equivalents. A ratio of 1 means that the company has the same amount of cash and equivalents as it has current debt. In other words, in order to pay off its debt, the company would have to use all of its cash and equivalents. A ratio of above 1 means that all current liabilities can be paid with cash and equivalents. While a ratio below 1 means the company needs more than just its cash reserves to pay off its current debt. Additionally, cash ratio is not as popular in financial analysis as current or quick ratios because its usefulness is limited. In some countries, Cash ratio of not less than 0.2 is considered acceptable. Ratios that are too high may show poor asset utilization for a company holding large amounts of cash on its balance sheet. Again, liquidity ratios are used to measure the company's ability to pay its current obligations. These ratios include current, quick, and cash ratio.